Welcome back to another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. This is another video tutorial of Photoshop Elements. And I received an email today, and I thought I would share it with all of you, because I thought maybe you would like to use this tool yourself, and, you know, when somebody sends me something, I like to spread the word. Now, this email, as you can see, came from a gentleman named Ronald. Ronald sent me a new a plugin for Photoshop that also works in Elements. He says here, um, it's supposed to be compatible with Photoshop Elements. And Ron, you are exactly correct. It is. Now, the way we get this plugin is we go to this website right here. And if you look to the right of this video, if you look into this video on YouTube, and you look to the right, you'll see on the video, um, I'll put a link in there, and you can just click that link and it'll take you to this website. Now this is a free download, free plugin. So I just started playing with it and I didn't get all the ins and outs of it yet, but there's, it does a lot. Um, if you look down through here, it can change portraits for you different ways um, with just a few mouse clicks. So it's pretty nice. So it, and it even works with uh, some landscape or some, um, you know, regular, um, uh, like lighthouses or scenery types uh, shots. Now, you can either download it in an installable format, and all that's going to do is basically uh, unzip it for you. Or you can download it, I downloaded it in a zip format. So to download it, just simply click on it, save it as a file, click OK. Now, I have a folder on my uh, hard drive here called Download, and all I did was I go to my uh, hard drive, and I created a folder, like I said, download. And that's where I keep everything. As you can see, I've got a bunch of stuff in there. And then I have one called Photoshop Plugins, a folder. Then what I do is I create a folder under that with the name of the plugin. That's just the way I download things. Click on Save. Now it's going to save very uh, quickly. As you can see, it's already downloaded. We're going to open up. Then you're going to open up your My Computer, or if you're on Vista, this will work with Vista too. You'll open up Computer, is what they call it now, I guess. And now you know I have it in my download folder, so I know where it's at. That's why I like to download things like that, if you're not familiar with downloading. Let's look for Photoshop plugins. Then we look for um, the Virtual Photographer. Now, on the Virtual Photographer, all you got to do... Yeah, I don't like when I have this up on the computer that's misspelled. So let's fix that. There we go. Now, in here, all you have to do is right click on the zip file. And you'll go to open with if you don't have any tools loaded. And compress zip folders. And all that's going to do is just open the folder for you. Now I already have that done. This is the file we're looking for. This is the actual, this is what a plugin looks like. It's visual, vi, virtual photographer dot eight bf. Now, to install that in Elements, make sure your Elements is closed. Right click on it and click on Copy. Now, what you're going to do is go to My Computer again, go to the C drive, go to Program Files, and then it's under Adobe. Once you go into Adobe, open up Photoshop Element 7. And then we are going to go into Plugins. And then Filters, because this will be under your Filters menu. Then all you got to do is right click in there on any blank space and click on Paste. I already have it in, so it's going to tell me it's going to overwrite. I'm just going to say no because it's already in there. And you'll see that will be in there. And these are all your other plugins that you're using on your computer with uh, Elements. Once you're done, just simply close that and then go ahead and open up your Photoshop Elements. And we'll cancel this for right now. I'll just minimize this out of the way. Now, once you open your Elements, you have your organizer, and I just opened this already in the editor. What you can do is you can duplicate your background either by Control J, Command J on the Mac, or just drag it up to the new layer and make a duplicate. And you could just change the whole picture 
or you can select the people in the picture. I'll use my quick selection tool. Up my brush size a little bit. And I was playing around with this earlier, so I'll click on plus because I was subtracting some stuff. I'm just going to go right around the couple here. And we'll just select her, just like so. Now we have them selected, so we're only working with that selection. You'll click on your filter menu and go down, and here's the name of the company. Uh, it looks like Optic um, Vervi Labs. Optic Vervi. I don't know what kind of name that is, but hey, what's in the name? But click on Virtual Photographer. And you can see it loads very quickly. Now, you can do a lot of different presets in here. And there was more than I actually uh, got to play with. I just played with a few here. Like, change it to a dreamy look. You can see where it's like a dreamy look. It's like a, a ghost type look. We can go up here to glamour. Maybe we we'll to give it a glamour look. And there's just a lot of presets in here. Photocopy. That's pretty neat. bright shade. Now once you get that done you can see the difference it's making on the picture just by comparing the two here side by side. And you also have the on and off button over here where you can turn it on and off on these extra colors or effects. And there's a lot of different effects in here. Softer. You can give it a softer shade. You can work the slide controls back and forth. You can see how fast it's changing that picture. It's really something. Film speed, you can change it from 25 ASA. This is kind of like your ISO settings. And I haven't tried it yet, but this might even work with uh, some camera raw shots actually changing these settings. There's just so many in here that you can play with. There's a character set. Make them kind of look like a comic book character. But there's colors and then there's black and whites down here that you can play with. So if you have a black and white picture. Uh, let's just go in glamour for now. There, we'll make it a glamour shot. Warm. You can make it cooler. Green punch. Or uh, subtle. Original. You can also slide this part down, make it warmer, more warmer, less warmer. So there's a lot of options in here to use, uh, to play with. Change the contrast. You can give it some blur if you want it to blur a little bit. But once you have everything done, you can save settings. You can make your own custom settings. And then you can load those settings later. But we're just going to process this now. And it's just going to come up. And it's processing our picture for us. And there you go, you can see the changes. I put a little bit too much blur in there. Anytime you don't like anything on a picture, folks, remember you can always go to Edit and Undo. And that takes it right back to the normal shot. Go back to Filter and you can open it back up and try something different. Let's just give it one of the presets here. Uh, natural Portrait. There you go, process that. We'll just get this processed out. And there you go. Then all you have to do is go up here to select, <clears throat> deselect it, and there's your new picture. Like I said, it's just a few mouse clicks. So I haven't had a chance to see everything that this does. Um, I want to I want to thank the company very much for putting it out there. I definitely want to thank you, Ronald, for uh, sending me the tip. I, I enjoy these tips that uh, people send in. They're a lot of fun to uh, play with different plugins. And hey, anytime it's a free plugin, it's worth giving it a try. 
you know, sometimes, um, or even the demos, um, you can download the demo plugins and try them out, see if you like them, kick them around a little bit, and, you know, then if you like it, you'd purchase it. So that's how that works. Well, folks, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video tutorial on uh, Virtual Photographer. It's a nice plugin. It, it's well worth downloading. Um, also, please don't forget to stop by the website. Check it out. There's a lot of additional information there for you uh, that you might want to get a hold of. You can also sign up for our forums. And if you've never signed up for forums before, all this is like an online discussion group. Well, I guess that's exactly what it is. Um, sign up for an account. You know, I know people say, I, Jack, I got so many usernames and passwords now. You know, it's worth it. Just sign up because a lot of people get in there and you can discuss different topics about Photoshop. And, and I even have a lot of computer topics in there where you can talk about your computer or your Mac. Uh, ask me questions about that also and I can get you some answers back on that too. So that's it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed everything. If you're not subscribed to the videos, please click the subscribe button on the side there and get subscribed to the videos. Take care, and I'll see you back here next time. Until then, remember, keep those shutters clicking, keep the editors editing. I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.